My name is Rhonda Kelly, and ladies, I would like to welcome you personally to our course, Ministry to Women Through the Local Church. Well, this course was initially scheduled to be an on-campus classroom workshop this week. And I'm sad to say we can't be seated together in that room uh, looking face to face and learning together. But I am grateful to our NOBTS administration for allowing us to continue the course online. So let's try to make it as real and personable as we can. And I'll look forward to uh, interacting with you throughout the week. So the course, as I said, is women's work through the local church. It is our required course in the women's ministry certificate program. Uh, for those of you who are in the undergrad program, that is WMCM 1215. And for graduate students, that's CEWM 5260. And what I wanted to do, in addition to just welcome you, I wanna take a moment to kind of introduce you to the class, and then I'd like us to have a prayer together. So I hope you've had the opportunity opportunity to print out your course syllabus. Certainly if you're undergrad, you want to print out the one that is uh, with that same number, WMCM 1215. If you're a graduate student, you'll print out the graduate level CEWM 5260. And so if you have that in front of you, we'll just take a moment and review that. Now what I understand we're going to try to do is we're going to try to accomplish this course, which is a two-hour academic course that was scheduled for a five-day workshop. And we're going to try to do it in a week, but administration has allowed us flexibility if it takes us another week or so to kind of keep up and complete all the work. What I'd love to see you do is to try to set aside some of the hours each day like you would have done next week in class and just spend several hours at a stretch uh, working through the course syllabus, the schedule. And as you do that, I'll be doing that as well. We'll have the opportunity to interact some with our discussion board. And then also, I am planning to schedule for us in the middle of next week a Blue Jeans uh, conference so that we can all talk together by phone. I'll be emailing you to schedule that at a time most convenient to everyone. So we're gonna just go with it and we're going to be flexible. In fact, I remember the very first mission trip my husband and I went on. We went with 200 students from Baylor University to Malaysia and Singapore. And I remember in that training for that first mission trip with this large group of college students, my husband saying over and over, flexibility is the key to ministry. Flexibility is the key. So we're learning flexibility even with our course format. And I do want to thank you for hanging in there and sticking with us. And please do know that I am praying for you, for your family, for your churches, and this tumultuous time when things are changing every day around us. But aren't we grateful that we have the Lord to give us confidence and faith and we know He's sovereign. He's in control. He's on the throne and He's going to take care of us and our family and our churches and our country and the world. So you just cling to that hope, that promise and share it with others. So having the syllabus in front of you, I'll remind you with this class, we have two textbooks. The first textbook is by Gloria Furman and Kathleen Nielsen, and it's entitled Word Filled, women's ministry. Uh, this book is going to be key to our discussion, especially about the biblical basis of women's ministry. And I know it'll be a blessing to you. Uh, the book is very helpful. I think it'll be one that you'll keep on your shelf and refer to often. The second textbook, again, because this is a two hour academic course, we have a second textbook and it's much more practical and hands on. It's more of a manual of how to do ministry to women in and through your local church. It is by Kelly King. I think some of you, if you were on campus or near campus, uh, recently had the opportunity at a women's leadership luncheon to hear uh, from Kelly. But Kelly is at Lifeway Christian Resources and she is the consultant for our women's work, our women's leadership in the Southern Baptist Convention. Her book is entitled Ministry to Women, The Essential Guide for Leading Women in the Local Church. So I do pray you've been able to get both of your textbooks. Uh, keep me posted if you have any issues related to uh, securing your text. So if you'll see in your syllabus, there are several requirements for the course, uh, certainly attendance. So that's where, uh, from a virtual perspective, I'll be able to see when you log in, when you log out, how much time you spend in the classroom 
shell here at Blackboard, but also we just want you to be not only present, but number two, we want you to participate in class discussion. If you have taken an online course with us in the women's program, you know that what we expect and what we need from you uh, to make the class most effective uh, in the online format especially is for you to answer each question as it's asked in the discussion board but also interact or respond to others in the class who have answered it so it gives you not only your own response but re reflections on what others have contributed as well number three is reading of our textbooks and both of those textbooks reading is required and at the end of our course time we're going to be asking you to provide a statement of your reading for that um, and I'll just remind you now and one more time in a moment that the follow-up work for this class so this week all you really need to be doing is keeping up with the course material the course content provided through uh, these videos this video other videos uh, the PowerPoints and then your reading and your threaded discussion then your follow-up assignment is due on Friday, April the 17th, no later than Friday, April the 17th. So you have a few weeks um, after the course closes to you on Blackboard to be able to um, then provide that follow-up assignment. And speaking of that follow-up assignment, um, each of you will be asked to write a book review of the primary textbook word-filled women's ministry. And so you'll see in your syllabus just some points that will guide you in developing your book review, providing that feedback, not just a summary of what the book is about, but your evaluation, your critique of the effectiveness or the ineffectiveness of that particular book in communicating of what we're talking about in our class. So that book review is going to be due and you'll see for undergrad students, uh, the, the length is five to seven pages and it's due, as I mentioned earlier, no later than April the 17th. For graduate students, we'll talk in just a moment about the additional requirements for graduate level credit, but let me just complete uh, the assignments for undergrads and that would be a final examination. I'll be posting on the Blackboard shell. It will be a discussion-based test that you will then have. And let me just ask you uh, to use those 10 questions to really uh, understand and, and reflect what you have understood and incorporated into your knowledge base about the subjects. Uh, you don't need to just repeat the points, the bullet points on the PowerPoints that you have reviewed, but instead try to synthesize the material and present to us your understanding of each of the discussion questions. And again, that is going to be due on April the 17th. I do hope that that's fairly clear as you are looking at the syllabus. If you've got any questions, what I would appreciate is um, we'll have in the discussion board a place where you can ask questions. If you ask questions there, uh, everyone can see the responses to it, and that's helpful. That's very much like classroom experience. If you prefer to email, it would be very helpful for you to just email all of us in the class your questions so I can reply to everyone and everyone benefits from the information. So that's at the undergrad level. Um, you'll see on all, both of the syllabi then from that point forward the requirements, then the grading system. You'll then see an outline of the course. You'll see a bibliography. And I am grateful to say that for this particular class in the subject of related to women's ministry or ministry to women that you will find many wonderful resources available today. So our two textbooks are just a beginning and you'll see them in the bibliography. Let me just kind of add a comment or two for any who are taking this for graduate level credit. Um, you certainly will have the same basic requirements that we just discussed at the undergrad level. In addition, let me just mention that your uh, book review of a word-filled women's ministry should be eight to 10 pages. A little bit more important for you all to follow Turabian. And for everyone, you'll want to see a, a tab, a link on your Blackboard shell that will actually give you a Turabian tutor that lets you kind of see the basics of how to set up a title page and how to format your book review. I know that'll be helpful to you, especially if you're writing a first book review. Uh, so graduate students, that length is eight to 10 pages for you. And you'll also see that we're asking you uh, to conduct two interviews with leaders of women's ministries. We want you to know more practically about what it looks like to 
to do women's ministry in a local church, especially if your own church, it does not have a developed women's program. And so you'll see guidelines under number five of how to conduct that interview and report on it. Just letting us know, um, not only what are these ladies doing as they minister to women in their own churches, but what are some takeaways, some things that you would learn that would apply to your leadership of women in the future. And then we will ask you in addition to develop a purpose statement. And this would be a purpose statement um, for yourself, your ministry, your call uh, to minister to women. And you'll see the guidelines in your um, syllabus as well under number six. And as with other follow-up assignments uh, that are due, everything is due no later than Friday, uh, April the 17th. And since your Blackboard shell will be closed uh, when the course time ends probably in two weeks is what I'm anticipating um, they will do, um, is I request you to just email those assignments directly to me at r-k-e-l-l-e-y at n-o-b-t-s dot e-d-u. And again, that's in your course syllabus as well. Well, I wish we were together. I wish I could ask you uh, if you've got any questions, but no, if you do, uh, you don't raise your hand. You just shoot me an email or you post it under our questions in the discussion book and know how much I'll be praying for you as together we navigate um, the shifting of this particular class from the classroom workshop format to an online format. And I am just confident that God, who always goes before us, he knows every detail already and he's going to unfold it for us in his time. So let's just be patient and know in the meanwhile, I'll be praying for you. And as we close this video, uh, I would like to just say to you uh, before we pray, you're going to see some other videos. And let me just say they're going to be a combination of content videos from another course that I have done for ministry wives here at the seminary. And so if in those videos I talk about your husbands or, or being a ministry wife, you'll understand that was the audience for those videos. But since they were available and the content is the same, we're utilizing those. And then we're also going to be utilizing some videos that Dr. Emily Dean had recorded and used the last time this same course was offered online. And so those are the videos. And then I'm going to probably be making um, some on my own that I'll kind of upload uh, throughout our time together just to kind of keep you focused. But it'll look a little different. It'll feel a little different. But you know what? I'm confident the Lord is going to speak to each one of us and teach us even in this very um, just crazy fluid time. May I pray for you and may I pray for us. Father, thank you so much for loving us so much and saving us, Father. Thank you for calling us to ministry. Lord, thank you for giving us ways that we can be better equipped to serve you. Lord, I wanna thank you for these precious ladies taking the course this uh, semester. Lord, I thank you for their willingness to just uh, persevere even under challenging circumstances, Lord. I thank you so much for their desire to just learn and be better equipped. Father, I pray that you will teach us many things um, as we learn together, as we share together. And Lord, more than anything, as you teach us, Lord, I pray that what you teach us, we will be willing to share in spoken word and in ministry with others. It's in your precious and dear name we pray. Amen. Amen, ladies. See you in class. Thank you.